Good morning family, hope you're well this morning. So I'm on my way to collect some elderberries which I spotted earlier and they're all ripe, plump and juicy, all that good stuff. I've noticed that, uh, and I haven't noticed this before, I'm trying to do this with the gimbal, a beech tree. This is a beech tree, so those little pods there, it blowing around in the breeze just to get out of my camera shot. Um, they're beech nuts. In a few weeks time, they'll be ready to harvest. It's between me and the squirrels, folks. Who's gonna win? Can you bear the excitement and the tension and the suspense? Yeah, you probably can't, fair enough. Well, I'm gonna come back in a few weeks and harvest those, and I'll show you how to do that, how to identify them. But essentially, it's the female beech tree that you get the nuts from. So, you know, in the normal world, by their fruits, you will recognize them. It's what the Bible says. So there's no way on earth that that tree could identify as anything than a female beech tree. Whatever pronouns you want to give it. Okay, I'll leave that there for you to ponder. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. It's a uh, great thing that you can get from nature for free. It's not processed. It's perfectly healthy, high in vitamin A vitamin C but what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate all of that goodness and how I do that is by making a tincture which is basically putting those berries into a solvent which is going to extract that good stuff out of it into a liquid form which you can then take a teaspoon or a few drops or whatever you can mix it with other stuff you can make a tincture out of pine needles a lot of people look for medical intervention to protect them from seasonal viruses, colds and flus and things. And so they look for this uh, interaction, which is, it's not something I'd go for, let's put it that way. But you know, you mate. What I would advise is you do what you do. Take advice off whoever you take advice off. I have to be careful what I say because I don't really think YouTube likes me that much, let's be honest. But I don't care about that particularly. But I do want to stay here so I can help you uh, to be of benefit to you. So I've got to play the game a little bit. Now, let's look at elderberries. You can't eat these without spitting all over the place. You can't eat these straight off the tree if they're fully ripe means they're nice and dark, plump and juicy. If they're red or green, don't touch them. But even if they are fully ripe, I would advise caution. If you, maybe some people can't tolerate them too well and they can cause intestinal problems, gastro problems, things like that. So I'll take about half a dozen or so, if you haven't done it before. Wait 24 hours, see if there's any reaction. Take another half a dozen. Again, wait another 24 hours. And then, you know, if you're fine, um, then you can, you know, go ahead and have a bit more. I mean, some people take them to avoid, to, to prevent constipation, to keep themselves regular, you know. So there's that sort of effect going on. You just want to advise caution and I want to advise caution. And uh, just take it easy, you know. Everything in moderation. That's what they say, isn't it? Right, I'm going to collect these and then we'll go on to the next stage. Right guys, so all I'm doing now is taking these little bunches of elderberries and I'm just going to strip the berries off them so I can wash them. So you just want to give them a little pinch, just roll them and they'll come off pretty easy. There's going to be other stuff in there, you know, there might be bugs or whatever. So I'm just going to rinse that off um, and I'll bring you back for the next stage. And so just wash these strain them out a little bit and then I'm going to put them into a jar so any jar you could use a an old pickled onion jar if you want whatever you've got lying around mason jar kelner jar whatever it is you want to lid on it and then next we'll add alcohol which is the solvent so when you have a cup of tea in infusion you know you make it a herbal tea what you're doing there is extracting the 
the stuff out of the leaves, the dried leaves, into the tea, that's what you're drinking, that's the beneficial aspect of it. But with this, and I find, me personally, I find that the 63%, it's just from uh, a big brand supermarket, you know. Um, this strength is really good for getting stuff to work, you know, when it's not being dried. You could dry this out and then you could maybe use a 40%, like a vodka or whatever, and that, that would work. But with the liquid still in here, I think you need a little bit more of the alcohol content. Now you're not gonna swig this and drink like a glass of this, you're just gonna have a teaspoon. And you're just gonna take it, you know, once a day if you're feeling under the weather, or just in the winter as a preventative to stop you feeling under the weather, or certainly to lessen your symptoms and the duration of any illness if you do get something. You'll find that um, it really helps. In my opinion, I have to say, of course. So yeah, so you can tincture anything, anything in the same process, the same way. So you could find, you know, on the roadside, you find nettles, dandelions. These things are really beneficial. Um, just there's loads of different things, you know. But do some research. Check it's not something like hemlock, you know. You don't want to poison yourself. I've got to say that again, of course. Um, but you can get really good medicines this way, natural medicines. You know where it's come from. So likewise, don't collect stuff from the roadside if you know there's dog walking, you know, and that's gonna have a, an impact on the plants around there. Uh, likewise, pollution. If it's a busy road verge, then you gotta have some pollution from the traffic and stuff like that. So just get out, get out of the way, you know. Wild garlic, all those sort of things you can make different tinctures for different occasions or you can blend them you know I could put pine needle tea in here for instance and I'll get a multitude of different benefits crossing over and that's it really guys it is that simple I hope you'll try something and uh, let me know if you're gonna try it if you think it's ridiculous or if you think that um, you have some better ideas about different ingredients drop them in the comments please like hit the buttons if you want uh, and hit them like really hard you know you can even smash them if you like but um, yeah, it's great to see you again, guys. I'll see you soon. We've got lots more content to come and it's very varied. Be kind to your neighbors. Also to your fellow brothers and sisters, especially those in the Lord. If you're a Christian, you know, it's important that we stick together in these times. Because uh, yeah, all right guys, God bless.